There is a high demand for skilled coders and this demand is increasing all the time. That's why we must invest in technology and coding education in Finland. Well, first of all, Hive is a proven concept from Paris and the Silicon Valley and other locations already. But why I think it's a particularly good fit for Finland is that we have a grassroots hacking culture that's old and thriving already. Hive is a completely new way of rethinking how education should be done for, uh, for the coders, for the creatives. And I found it really gratifying to see that it's finally landing in Finland. We need diversity in coding because coding is a tool to create things and to solve problems. And every individual is unique and comes with a unique background. So we need more different kinds of people trying to solve different kinds of problems. I wish Hive will show how computer science can be a magical way of exploring and understanding the world. I think the biggest misconception we have about computer science that is that it's about studying the computer, whereas in reality, computer science can be used to solve the big problems in the world, those of energy or education or nutrition or health. Well, there are a lot of things that I, I expect Hive to bring to Finland, but maybe one thing to point out here is that I wanted to rattle the way we traditionally think about teaching and education. And hopefully high will make people think and figure out new ways of complementing the old methods. So having a background as a, as a hobbyist and self-taught um, coder, I think the way Hive operates it really, really resonates with me. I've, I've had the privilege of, of working with incredibly driven people with, uh, who don't necessarily have the necessary skills from the start, but who have the drive and willingness to, to do what it takes and work together with others to, um, to make big stuff happen. And this is exactly the way Hive operates, and it really, really, um, it really feels good. I, I think this is exactly how things should be done.